you can see, the sunlight has left us. 20 to 6. <laughs> yes. And we are on our way to Cannon Rocks. Or what's the other name? Bocknestrand. Bocknestrand. And uh, that's where we're going to be sleeping over tonight. It's about a 27 kilometer drive. So it's not too far. No, not too bad. This is our turn off, huh? Hey? Yes. Do you know the scary thing is that it's only five to six. <laughs> it's wild. That's what I struggle with. It started started losing light at five o'clock already. Yeah, but still. This is proper night time. Yeah, it is. It's dark. Here yeah, we're coming to Bocknes Strand. It's a beautiful sign. It is, eh? But we had to stop and put the headlights on it so that we could read it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see it in the morning again. Yes, we will. They should actually have lights that they have up here. Oh, shining on the name as well. Mm. Bokkenes is a recycle village. Okay. Bokkenes hercirculeer alles. Love that. Cool. We shall do the same. Yes, ma'am. In Lambe municipality. So. We continue for 300 meters, they say. Hey, da. Look at this. more. Looks interesting. Yeah, that's going to be cool to see tomorrow. And I think we turn left at the next one. Okay, dogs. Streetlights, no load shedding. Let's hope. Let's hope so. Well, it's six o'clock now, so three minutes past. So don't speak too soon. I know. We're looking for 107. Okay. You sure this is it? I'm not sure, no. So we are at our humble abode in Bokne Strand. How fantastic. Let me show you. This is a bit dark here. Yeah? This is the braai area. We're not going to braai tonight. But it's really nice. Show you the outside tomorrow morning. Look at this. Perfect. Little kitchenette. And yeah. And this is the bathroom. We've even got a washing machine. Cool. Ironing facilities. So cool. Dusty has had supper already. It's our turn now. Got nice chicken curry 
with rice. It does look and smell very good. I telling must you, say. this is going to be finger licking good. But we are starving. I am fracking over there. I've just shown you our supper. We're going to eat that now. And uh, we're going to start downloading videos for the rest of the evening. And we're going to be sitting down, enjoying a few drinks together. And we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Bokne Strand. It was freezing last night. Thank heavens the place had a little heater to close up everything. Turned on the heater and it was nice and cozy inside there. Yeah, I had a good sleep. I didn't want to wake up this morning. <laughs> it's quarter to eight in the morning now. All packed up, ready to go. You saw we had our coffee. But uh, let me explain to you what was going on here. I just want to turn the camera around and show you. You would have noticed that last night we were still turning into the wrong house. But it was pitch, pitch dark. They didn't have street lights. You know, we are so spoiled coming from the city that we have these street lights and stuff. Okay, when there's no load shedding. But yeah, they have had no load shedding when we arrived. But it was still pitch dark and yeah by these trees this is where we turned in to the wrong house thinking that was it and we had to call the lady to find out where the place is and this is where it was <laughs> I turned around at this property and didn't come down to this one so yeah it shows you it was dark 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 but she helped us find the place we are here and um, what a nice place we're really excited now we're gonna go and explore Bokness and um, Cannon Rocks, Bokness and Cannon Rocks are also virtually the same place, but really lovely. Look at this. Chargers and things, cables uh, and things. Get everything ready. What a lovely little place, eh? Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> really relaxing evening. Okay. Gates closed. I'm ready to see the place in daylight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you it got dark so quickly last uh, night. It's unbelievable. In five minutes. It was pitch dark. It was no dark. street lights. That's the weirdest thing. They, they are there, but like here and there only. They are. Every 300 meters. <laughs> They've even got a filling station here, that's cool. Do you think they might be open at 5 to 8? I don't know. It looks pretty shut to me. It does, yeah. No, they're still locked. But it's okay, we've got enough juice. There is someone mm -hmm. we can come ask maybe on our way out. Yes, a little later. Wow, very little blue in the sky this morning. Yeah, it's a bit cloudy. I was expecting it to be chillier, so that's a good thing. I think you should go, go down there. Down yes. there. There's a board. I think I can see an ibis on the board. Is this an estuary? It looks like it. A little, little lagoon. Oh, oh, they launch boats here too. Wow. Or they canoe. Is this a launch? Yeah, well, they launch their little canoes, yeah. I saw a hot and look down there. Sorry, in Glombe Environmental Conservation. It's Jereen Birds. Okay. It's Jereen Birds. I 
this is so beautiful. Whoa. Absolutely stunning. How's the boat's name? <laughs> wee boat. Shall we get into the wee boat? Uh, not now. <laughs> it's a cool name though, yeah, I love it. Is, it. Yeah, it is, Now this is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. How lucky are these folks? Yeah. It doesn't matter what else one sees, nothing surpasses the beauty of nature. Oh no, nothing. Like nothing, nothing, nothing. Nature is incredible. Still a sleepy coastal village. Love it. I must be honest, I feel kinda of sleepy too. <laughs> I could have I could have lain a bit later today. <laughs> I just didn't want to move out of that warm bed this morning. <laughs> Down Footchecker Street for another look see. Yes. Looks like there are steppies down. Does, eh? But I want to get to where it joins the sea. There I see the lifesaver's house. I see that. I can hear the ocean. So the Bokness Lagoon that they call here is fed by the Bokness River. Yes. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I haven't seen the ocean yet. Three days. <laughs> ambulance office so that leads me to believe this is busy in the holiday season I think it's crazy busy like a Becky Bookness Beach this is gorgeous beautiful absolutely beautiful and I say if you have plastic feed it to this fish I want to go onto Bokness Beach. I think now, you before do I do, I would just like to say that 7.8 kilometers in that direction is the Diaz Cross. 
I would have loved to have gone there. I thought one would be able to drive to it, but it's a hike, and um, unfortunately I won't do it now. But it is in that direction. I didn't expect it to be so far no, away. No, I didn't, yeah. You'll be back like five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me go into the beach. Love this sign. All dogs must be on a leash when in public area. If your dog poops, you scoop. There's the lagoon. Such beautiful sand dunes, look at those dunes over there. A little bit of sad information Sonny found out was about the, the recent droughts that they've been having and also dams that have been built along the Little Bacanas River has stopped a lot of water coming into this lagoon down the Bokness River and has prevented it from flushing out into the ocean so that it doesn't flow into the ocean anymore and flush the water out so people are a bit afraid to swim in this water or not afraid but hesitant to swim in this water because it doesn't flush anymore. Lovely place this. Isn't hey? it so peaceful? This is one of the few places that I truly get a holiday feeling. Can you imagine in peak times? I, I really get that feeling that it's a seriously holiday town. And furthermore, that they take great care in maintaining yes. it and keeping it clean. Yeah, that's beautiful. Let's see if Lakabaki has an authentic Bokness delicacy. Let me park and go and check, find out. For breakfast. Yes, ma'am. 
such a cool picture this the beach no shoes no shirt no problem <laughs> let's see what we can find to eat here Hi there. Hello. This is their menu. Imagine ordering food over here. And this is your, your view. <coughs> and yeah, they're cleaning up. Picking up all the litter. View and we have just ordered egg, bacon, and cheese. And Sonia wants the savory mints. So cool. This is Sonia's savory mints toasty. Mmm, I love savory mints. Yeah, bring Yours mine. looks very boring though, eh? No, 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 no. Bacon, egg, and cheese. It looks awesome, but uh, I want some of yours too, eh? I'm going to have half of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Lacquer Becky's breakfast was absolutely delicious. It was very lacquer. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, we don't often eat that early, but no, now no. the opportunity presented itself. <laughs> now the fact that they open so early yeah, on the beach is fantastic. You're out of season, eh? Yep. That's great. He says, though, there's a lot of locals that live here permanently, not just holiday. Yes. And um, they come and support them a lot. Oh, that's fantastic. A um, lot of doggies, eh? Yeah. People walking their dogs, that's fantastic. Look at this. So green, eh? The ocean's right there, and look at this. It's just yeah. blows my mind. Okay, so clearly, Bookness Strand takes its name from the Bookness River. Yes. Uh, it was formerly called Yammerfontein. I can't find the reason why they felt sorry for themselves. <laughs> But the name Bokness is derived from Kukun and it means Father's River. Okay. And the forms Bokna or Bokana are also encountered. That's why we talk about the Bokana River. Okay. Huh? That's really all I can find about Bokness and then a little bit about the lagoon. It's a cool holiday town. I oh, like it. Love it. There are so many lovely little places in this country. <laughs> Did you see this name? Bocabanas. It's so <laughs> clever. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's endless. The, the amount of beautiful places. It's just never ending. Yeah. Place? Yeah, it's quite a big one too. Yeah. They've kept it very natural here, yeah. hey? They're clearing only where they build. Yeah. That is so cool. that some people live here full-time oh and quite a few yes look at this plot yeah 
lot of building going on, huh? It's expanding. It's really a lot happening here. Mm. Oh, nice view. Look at the penguins, babe. Beautiful, that eh? Is so nice. So I suppose we're getting to another beach soon. Oh yes. Which is called Cannon Rocks. I hear <laughs> I read about um, two swimming beaches. But it's amazing that from the one point look at the, the sable the antelope. Sable. Yeah. How cool is that? We almost missed it, like yes. we would in, in the wild. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to say is, is that it's about, from Bockness to the other side of Cannon Rock is about eight kilometers. All in all? All in all, yeah. Just please check the baboon yeah. out. <laughs> Look, there are dikers. Oh, there's a leopard. There's a lot of animals around here. Well, not real ones, but... Can you imagine how I'll react when I see a real one? Wow, check that leopard, it looks gorgeous, eh? Hi. And what is that, a diker? Yeah, it looks like a clipspringer, something. There are two leopards, mind you. Oh, I can see the one there in the bush. Yeah, he's sitting up. Oh, that's a cheetah. No, that's a cheetah. <laughs> okay. These are both cheetahs, actually. Oh, because of the spots? Yes. I do see that now. The head is very much a leopard head for me though. And there's a croc. <gasps> cool, eh? I'm telling you, if you see them out the corner of your eye, they'll look so real and I will jump, let me tell you. <laughs> if you have to take a shortcut across this grass and you come around here, <laughs> I can just imagine. I think maybe that's their, their whole purpose and to entertain folks like us. I still disagree with you. I know that they put spots on the one on the left, but it's definitely a leopard vibe. The one on the right is definitely a cheetah. The one on the right is a cheetah, and the one on the left is a leopard. I see yeah. the spots leopard, are different. Yeah. yeah, the leopard doesn't have uh, the tear marks, eh? No. So, I do know my leopard from my cheetah, mind you. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful, though. Fantastic. Lovely. Who knew that we'd find entertaining wildlife yes. in um, Bokne Strand? Those stilts are, are long poles. <laughs> I know, they mean business, eh? Yep. Entering Cannon Rocks now. Okay. Interesting story about how Cannon Rocks got its name. Okay. Pray tell. I shall tell you. Two cannons from shipwrecks found along the stretch of beach have given the name to this quiet village. It is an accepted theory that at least one of the two cannons comes from the Sao Joao Baptista wreck of 1622. What? Now, Sao Joao is S-A-O, J-O-A-O, with squigglies on all the A's. Oh, no. So that's very, I mean, that's very that's long, long ago. ago. Yeah. And um, there was a book written by Colin Urquhart, Algoa Bay in the Age of Sail. Um, he wrote that the Sao Joao Baptista had drifted within a short distance of land after 72 days naval battle with two Dutch East Indian men, the Mauritius and the Wapen van de Rotterdam, and finally dropped anchor somewhere along the Cannon Rocks coastline, 30 September 1622. Babe, that is exactly 401 years ago. That's crazy. That is crazy. Got a beautiful sign they have. Rocks. Wow. Love that. Yeah. 
So although they refer to it here as two Dutch East Indian men, I think it's a collective term for the ships, the vessels. Ah, okay. yes. So the one was called Mauritius and the other the Wapen van Rotterdam. Okay. Hey. So the knees are getting some punishment. But I love this sand. Ugh. Look at this. What? Look at this sand. Incredible. What's interesting what we found online was that the captain of that ship that was in the battle with those two other Dutch East India Company ships, they were on shore for a month and he ordered his guys to burn the shipwreck. So it's not really known the exact location of the shipwreck. I saw something on the map about a shipwreck guest house or something like that. So I was hoping there'd be signs of a shipwreck here but no. I don't see anything at this stage. Wait a second. There's something in the water there. Just want to go a little closer to that. That looks like something in there. That might even might be a part of a ship. It's a little bit far. Let me go and have a look. This definitely looks like something that's in here. Oh, for sure. Definitely a shipwreck. Parts of it, there's part of the engine. This is so cool to see, but it's complete. It's nearly gone. And I wonder how much of it is under the sand as well. One can see that there's a lot of shipwrecks out here. I just walked over and I saw one piece of one. Yeah, so That's incredible. Yeah, it's crazy. I saw on this corner something interesting. Okay. Here yeah, by this restaurant. The anchor. Yeah. That's cool, eh? That also looks legit to me. Oh, it's legit. That's for sure. Wouldn't surprise me they found it out in the ocean. That is cool with the rope that works. Yeah, that's cool, eh? Roos restaurant. Yeah. Well, that anchor is Roos, eh? <laughs> that's probably why it's called that. <laughs> yes. I never even caught on to that. Here yeah, they've got the houses with the siding, you see? Yes. That and house wave. says smile and wave and that's exactly <laughs> what I did. I like these two places. I do as well. 
I definitely like them. It's a vibe thing. Yep. Relaxed. Fun. They like yeah. to have fun, these people. And they have a sense of humour. If I read the name correctly, does that arrow? Wow, Cannon Beach, Nautilus Beach, Park Beach. <laughs> Beautiful, eh? The colour of the sand is amazing. And the vegetation. Yeah. Look, so this that, is a dune? This is a dune, yes. And look, that dune, hasn't. there's hardly any footprints or marks on it. It's just natural, as it should be. Pretty. They've got beautiful beaches, I must, I'm going to say it over and over. They do. <laughs> I wonder if this is part of the dune fields that we saw from Alexandria. Well, there's massive dunes, and I was on the beach down there, massive dunes. Or not Alexandria, uh, Colchester. Colchester, well, it could be all along. And they call them shifting dunes because their winds are... are called the winter westerlies and the summer easterlies. Oh. Winter westerlies and the summer easterlies. Shall we go peek in there? Postal Agency too. Cannon Rocks Holiday Resort. This looks beautiful, yeah, it eh? It does, eh? Looky, looky. This is their recreation hall. This is really nice. So is this two? Two of them, yeah. Five, yes. Each have They're their brine. own built-in braai. And electricity points. Yes, the ablution facilities. Oh, they have power points, are they? Yes, they do. Can you imagine the atmosphere here Ooh. in December when it's full up? I can just imagine. I mean, you're like on top of your neighbour. It must be so social. I can, yeah. And <laughs> look here, these are private, separate little ones. Oh, oh, are they? They're not double ones. No. These are double again. Yeah. And Gorgeous. a lot here, yeah. eh? Really nice. We're already at number 40. I 
like this. Yeah, oh, same here. Yeah. Got a piatti. Wow. This is lovely. They've kept it so natural. That's what I love the most. How cool that they built a bry at each one. Yeah, like 68. <laughs> Looks like there's over nearly 80 camping sites here. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. I did too. To be a child in a caravan park, I don't think there's anything more fun. Oh. It's the Patrick van der Spey Conference Center. It's a big place, eh? I remember we just arrived in a caravan park, like half an hour later we've got like 10 friends, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it was like. Look at these sleeper, sleeper tables and stuff. Yeah, they won't get moved soon. But you remember that, that, that time we went to the caravan to the Kalahari? Yes, I do. We made friends, so many friends there so quickly. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to talk about the roads. No, no, yeah, no. that was fantastic. Oh. It's a cool place. Love it. It was nice of them to allow us yeah. to take a drive. Enjoyed that. Very much so. Looks like they yeah, still give fuel here. Yeah. yeah. Let's go down some more. Community Hall. Okay. That's interesting. What do all these boards say? There's the cannons. <gasps> there are the cannons. exciting place um, for me who's a military historian um, it's an amazing archaeological place there are so many sites out here we've had all types of battles in this area we've had um, reports of pirates coming to this section and also shipwrecks that we'll be talking about but my favorite subject of course is these cannons these guns are from 1622. Okay. This first line, interesting enough, is about the third most dangerous first line in the world. Okay. The reason for that is that we have three big waves coming through, sometimes two to three stories high waves, just out of the blue. We have got a big deep shaft towards the trans sky, 
the boats just disappear because the waves are like that and the big boats go past and they break down the middle and down they go just disappear we had one or two aircraft disappear so you first get the bermuda triangle which is one of the most dangerous shipping lanes in the world and then a off the island of northern japan where volcanoes explode under the sea and blow out ships out of the water okay and then we are the next the reason is we've got a cold current coming up here and a hot current so causes huge like uh, world, uh, whirlpools and things like that and um, and we also got some very nasty reefs so i'm not going to spend all the time now talking about the shipwrecks but some of them here we've got about 16 really old boats so the ships we have some cannons on okay to try and keep the pirates away and what happened is this boat called Santa Bastia was attacked by two pirate boats okay one was known as the Barpen of Amsterdam and the other one was known uh, I'm just forgetting the name right now, I can't get to it. But anyway, what happened is these two pirate boats attacked him around about where Durban is now. And for 13 days they fought a battle. And this poor Portuguese ship didn't stand a chance. They had their rigging shot away, the sails shot away, they had people killed on the boats. The boats started to catch fire, they shot into the thing, they started to sink. And they were desperate. And lucky for them, in a way, a big storm came, and so those two pirate ships moved off, and they came and they found it over here. How interesting this gentleman. He's got a lot of knowledge. The coolest thing yep. is that history is being passed on to the next generation. Exactly. That is the coolest thing ever and there are those cannons from 1622 no <laughs> um, coming out here cannon rocks now little fishies yeah and they're like a little seal on the garbage can <laughs> it's amazing yeah how gorgeous these pastures they are. Oh, stunning. Absolutely beautiful. pastures beautiful farmland yeah hey yeah, definitely wow the green is really really green love this area it's beautiful now you always tell me how beautiful the eastern cape is yep and this is proof irrefutable gorgeous and I love the fact that these two villages have taken such great care in preserving nature yes no they've really done that I hope it's open it says open there it says we open okay cool let's go inside
Even if it's a bright light I Oh, the bright colours. Show you remember we saw a sign last night to say they recycle everything. Yes. Uh, Look at this truck. That's what they do. They literally do, eh? That's great to see. We had to show you this sign in the daytime. There's no headlights shining on it. So Bucknestrat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little different in daytime. It does, eh? it does. What an interesting visit to these two places. Yeah. Rockness and Cannon Rocks. Very, very nice. Yeah. And this is everything we missed last night yeah. because it was like dark. almost completely yeah. dark. But I couldn't believe it that when we stopped at that name sign, it was nearly dark. But as soon as we got into the town, it was gone. This and that was just like not even five, five minutes, minutes later. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a beautiful area. This is a beautiful area. I agree. And there was so much to see. 
and it's a f it's fun places yeah. and that I love more than anything. And I think I want to have a ball here in December. Time. Absolutely. Yeah. No, it was great. Thanks, babes.